food, petrol, clothes, uniform, everything. It's, it's just skyrocketed. This just led me to have to permanently have a second job. Savings are gone. No savings left. <laughs> nope, gone. In the last six months. See, I'm paying all my wage for somebody else to look after my child, but I could be at home. Do you not think work pays the way it used to? No, definitely not. Our energy bills went from a quarter of a million a year to over a million. Our prices we've had to put up in order to get the work in and to just keep afloat. Rising to a ricochet of ringing. Jamie is up before the sun is. And he won't stop until it sets. Some mornings it's like four, five, six alarms, but when you're aching, you're sore, you're tired. The father of one is a builder by day and a cleaner by night. Every hour counts because so does every penny. How regularly will you be doing a what, a 12, 13 hour day? Could be four or five times a week. But then obviously now with cost of living and the way everything's on the way up, it's kind of a needs must now. From his one bedroom flat he rents in Bridge End, South Wales, Jamie leaves at 6.30. And he's grafting by seven. But graft, grit are not enough. By 5 p.m. his working day should be done. How you doing mate, you all right? How was that? But he's only halfway through. So we left you at seven and now it's nearly half five. Yeah. But you're gonna go out again tonight? Uh, yeah, so bills are going to be paid. I've got a child to look after. But first, precious time with his son, five-year-old Jacob. Behave for mummy. Do you eat your veg? Yes. Do you? Yes. Before my he's on the telly now. He's going to tell us he eats his veg. <laughs> if he didn't do this and the cleaning and the everything else, yeah. what would life be like? It's enough to survive, but not to live. After all bills are paid, I think I'm left with just shy of £400 a month. Okay, yeah, yeah. But when you take in consideration fuel for work yeah. and a food shop. Yeah. Same goes. Over four weeks. Yeah. It's gone. What's what's spare? Are you saving any money? Savings are gone. And so it's on to Jamie's second shift, cleaning offices. It's nine PM and he's still working. And he will do it all over again tomorrow. You can work all the hours you want, but it's just not not enough. So the second income was sort of a a needs must. Have you thought about how long you're going to have to do this for? Um, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've burned out before and you just drained, mentally exhausted, and it was just you needed a time out. But you can't because bills don't take a time out. Full time workers in Wales are on average £42 a week worse off in real terms than three years ago, according to the Office for National Statistics. In Bridge End, beauty abounds in its valleys and vistas. <coughs> Imogen runs them pretty close. Born five weeks ago, a wonderful surprise to Robin. Already mum to a 13-year-old girl and a nine-year-old boy. The bigger shock has been the costs that have followed. 14.45 is quite a lot when I remember being about nine pound. You've got like 12 pound for the park, a double park. It is quite a worry because everything was just going up. Back at the home they rent, we meet husband Rob. He's a supermarket delivery driver and sometimes earns a bit of extra cash playing darts. Robin works full time for the NHS, but money was tight even before Imogen came along. Where we've lent money, paid our loans, etc. We've been stung. Do you know what I mean? And now we're, it's affected our credit rating. By lunchtime, Rob is off to work. His wages won't be enough once Robin's maternity pay ends. The dilemma isn't just how long she stays home but with nursery costs over a thousand pounds per month, where the work is even worth it. Well, I have to go back to work, that's, I have to. But it's like, why go to work full time when you're paying someone else to bring up your children? It just doesn't make sense. Yes, you're doing it to be a good role model to your children, to show them like go out to work every day, but then you're missing out on so much of their life as well. Employment in Wales is already the lowest of any UK nation, and businesses here fear things are going backwards. In Cardiff, this family-run metal processing plant predominantly supplies the housing sector, 
but Britain isn't building enough and the work is drying up. The boys are on hourly rate, so if the work's not here for them, then there's no work for them. Now we're looking at making redundancies and stuff now, so just to try and stay afloat. Do you worry sometimes? No, I've got kids, I've got a family, yeah, yeah. Um, like I say, I've got three, three boys to support as well, as well as the missus. It's very hard. I mean, I haven't been on holiday for the last 10 years. I haven't left the country because I can't afford it. When your life is work, but work is not enough to live, something has gone horribly wrong for people just trying to do the right thing. Daniel Hewitt, ITV News.